12 is the time now. With a little bit of spit and a postage stamp, you can have your DNA analyzed, unlocking mysteries about you and your family. The results may even be life changing. And while all of this sounds exciting, Consumer Reports says it's best to keep your expectations in check. It's today's Don't Waste Your Money report. About four years ago, Sarah Alchul received a 23andMe kit as a holiday gift. The results she got back would change her life forever. I unfortunately got my test results back, which did show that I carry the BRCA2 mutation, um, which in increases my risk of um, developing breast cancer by quite a bit and ovarian cancer. Sarah ended up getting a preventative double mastectomy with reconstruction after her genetic counselor confirmed the 23andMe test results. While Sarah is grateful that she took the test, she can see how for others, a positive result could be a burden to family members with the news that they too might carry the mutation. Once you get your results, that probably means that you need to inform people in your family that you either got it from one of your parents and that could affect your siblings, that could affect your cousins. Though some of these tests can help determine if you're likely to develop diseases such as breast cancer or Alzheimer's, they could also give you a false sense of relief or fear. While a positive result from one of these tests can mean you do have a higher risk of a certain disease, a negative result doesn't necessarily mean you're out of the woods because there can be other variants that cause that disease not detected by the test. 23andMe says it clearly explains test limitations to users. While Sarah's story is a great example of how these DIY DNA tests can be helpful, others may find the results confusing, misleading, or upsetting. In the Consumer Reports survey, about 10% of people who used the test said their reports contained unsettling information, such as the news that someone thought to be a biological relative is not actually related to them at all. If you think these kits are going to give you a complete picture of your ancestry and your health, you're going to be disappointed. And there's also the possibility that it could reveal information that you may not even want to know about your family. Even though for me, it was a good experience overall. I think you have to be ready emotionally for something like that. Bottom line, a DIY DNA test kit might be right for you as long as you understand what your results may or may not signify. Consumer Reports would also like to remind you that there are very few laws that regulate what a company can do with your genetic data once they receive it. So it could be sold to a third party without you ever knowing about it. Just something to remember. All right. Thank you so much, Alicia.